This is a short, steep, dead-end road of 2,7 kilometers that gives access to the seat of the Afrikaans language situated on a beautiful granite rock system on the western slopes of the Paalberg. The road is tarred, modern and well designed, but it is fairly steep with an average gradient of 1 in 13 and the steepest sections being at 1 in 6, which is near the turn-off to the amphitheater. Regardless of whether you are Afrikaans or not, a visit to this holy grail of the young language of South Africa's Dutch pioneers is a must if you're in the Paal area. The monument, its design and the grounds attract large numbers of visitors for the aesthetic beauty of the architecture and the immaculate grounds and gardens. It speaks volumes for the Afrikaans people. The pass starts at an altitude of 145 meters and immediately begins a long straight climb into the west-northwest with the suburb of Courtrai on the right. Vineyards cover the view to the left and the Simonsberg and Stellenbosch mountains become increasingly visible as altitude is gained. 500 meters from the start, the road makes a wide 90 degree curve into the north as the road pushes uphill through a dense stand of pines. This section lasts for 700 meters, then enters the next big left hand bend. This is a full 180 degree turn into the south, but be aware that this corner also gives access to the very popular contour road, the Jan Philips Mountain Road, which in turn gives access to the Paalberg Nature Reserve. In addition to this, the amphitheatre is also located close to this bend, so watch out for traffic coming back down from the Tal Monument, as well as traffic feeding in from the gravel road. With the heading back into the north, the final climb towards the main spire of the monument beckons. The gradient here is 1 in 10 and the pass ends at the entrance boom to the monument grounds where you can park outside the boom area with fabulous views over Paul or drive into the more secure parking area inside the grounds. Here you can enjoy the beautiful gardens and marvel at the grand architecture of the huge columns, fountains and granite blocks that blend seamlessly into the mountainside. Everyone is welcome, but there is an admission fee which was very reasonable when we filmed this in 2015. The monument was officially opened on the 10th of October 1975 and it commemorates the semi-centenary of Afrikaans being declared an official language of South Africa, separate from Dutch. Also, it was erected on the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Genootskap van Rechte Afrikaners, which translates into the Society of Real Afrikaners. This was the organization that helped strengthen Afrikaners identity and pride in their language. The monument consists of various tapering structures of a convex and concave nature, symbolizing the influences of different languages and cultures on Afrikaans itself, as well as political developments in South Africa. There is also an open stadium at the bottom of the structure where concerts and events are held. For motor vehicles, the road is a dead end at the monument and one has to retrace the same road back into Paal. The town has a lot to offer the visitor with a wide range of boutique hotels and B&Bs, chic restaurants, art galleries, old churches and many other famous national monuments. The biggest river in the region, the Berg River, which hosts the annual Berg River Canoe Marathon, flows right through the town of Paal you'll pass the gracious property of the world-famous KWV cellars right off the main road. Famous wine estates like La Borie and Grand Roche are all close at hand and all welcome visitors. Besides the cultural, scenic and historical attractions of the area, the road itself is a real joy to drive with well-engineered gradients, gracious chicane-style bends and perfectly banked corners on a smooth, tarred surface. We rate this pass as highly recommended. Thank you.